Hey friends, how I made money despite Tesla stock dropping from 800 to 600 plus and it's not shorting the stock or buying any put options. Instead, I did the total opposite. In part one, I shown you the earth strategy. This is the follow up. I'll link part one up here and down below. This video may seem technical. For beginners, open a demo account and practice. It is easy. You can't learn options with theory only. The same applies for cooking and sex. This video has three parts. How the trade is executed. Number two, the calculations that go behind the strategy. And the last part, I'll rent because I may not want to disclose my trades anymore though all all my trades I disclose have been profitable. I'm recording this video one day before the options expire. Ideally, you should close it on day zero. The steps to profit from these contracts is very simple. On day zero, I'm simply going to do this. Imagine this 790 put contract. I'm going to do is click on it. I'm going to close the contract. That means I right click, create closing order and I close the contract. Thereafter, I go to the following month contracts. So this was done one month before. I go to the next month, 16th of April, which is 29 days later. I'll scroll all the way down and I'll find probably a 690 contract and I click sell. I'll receive $60 and I click confirm and send. So this is, that's all I'm going to do. It's just two simple steps. Let me repeat my simple steps. I right click on a contract, create closing order, and I buy back this contract. Next step, step number two, find at the money contracts, click sell. In this case, I'll receive $60 because every contract is uh, 100 stocks. I'm going to receive $6,000 and this is how I profit from Tesla stock. Let's go in detail exactly what happened. This strategy is about maximizing profits from time decay. F you focus on what you can control. Can you control stock price? No, right? This strategy is so simple and powerful. It mind fucks the highest level of people who played options for years. My past students and some of them are teaching now seen how this is being back tested. So anyway, moving on. Strategy is simple. Every month you sell at the money puts because time value is at its highest. On expiry, close the option contract and repeat for the following month. I repeat, sell at the money monthly puts, close on the last day and repeat. If you still don't understand, what can you do? Repeat this video, duh. Let's do the calculation. On the 12th of February, I sold a 790 put for $62, means $62 into my account. One month later, because stock price has went down, I need to pay $106 to buy back my contract. If you look here, it's $106. If you add both of this up, it's a negative because I received $62 and I paid out $106. But then again, I repeat this process of selling put at the money. So following month, at the money 690 put, I received $60. So if you add the total up, 62 minus 106 plus 60, altogether, I still have a profit of $16. And of course, every option contract is 100 stocks. My profit is $1,600. Effectively, I brought down Tesla stock price from 790 to 690 and yet I haven't lost money. There's another trade I did on February 22nd. I sold 750 puts for $45. And because stock price has went down, I, I need to pay $66 to close off the contract. So 45 minus 66. Again, net negative. Because I'm selling at the money put following month, I will receive another $60. This is the quote I got when recording this video. So the total I receive is $39 times 200 is because I did two contracts over here. The next put contract I did on 17 February, I sold the 815 put for $60. And since then, again, the stock price has came down. So I need to pay $130 to close this put contract. So net together is actually quite negative. 
And because this month again, I'm doing the same shit, I'm just selling at the money put, 690 put at $60. If you add everything up, it's just minus $10. But I could have done something different. Instead of 690 put, I could do a 710 put. So the price of a 710 put is $70.90. I'm just gonna put $70 here. So net net, I will still not lose money, meaning to say, my break even for Tesla stock is $710. Can you imagine how powerful this strategy is? This strategy is pretty simple, just maximizing the time decay from the last 30 days. So what's the point of this strategy? Despite stock price plunging, I still use this time decay to reduce the cost of owning stock. As simple as it sounds, this screws with the mind of the most advanced option experts. They say it's risky, blah, blah, blah. It's only risky if you're dumb. I'll just repeat this process every month once, extracting as much time decay as I can. If the stock price goes sideways or up, time decay is all mine. Even at the worst of times, I expect this strategy to return 20% on capital yearly. I may not want to disclose my trades anymore. I'm able to handle personal attacks, toxic people, but lately it's been getting more. I'm not sure what I did wrong. I'm the only person I know who discloses my trades. I have a 100% track record. I tell you when I buy and when I sell. Every trade I disclose has been profitable. Though my track record has been 100% on every trade, I may not be so lucky in the future. I had a very naive belief. If I'm transparent, I'm going to help a lot of people. Yet, I get comments like this. You screwed me with ACTC and many more. If you bother to follow me on a buy, at least be bothered to follow me when I sell, right? This is just one of the many comments. I get comments like, weren't you all in Tesla? Hey, the world constantly changed. Feel free to stand still. It bothers me a lot, maybe because I care. Maybe I should just care less and live my own life. I don't sell membership to see my trades. I have one of the best returns with 100% transparency and so far 100% track record. I take YouTube money to donate charity and I'm not sure what could I have done better. I'm just going to take a break.